Good morning, eating fans, or shall I say drinking fans. Um, today I'm going to do a little experiment on the pH level of the water that you've been drinking. And uh, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but a lot of the bottled water that they're selling in the uh, supermarkets and most of these uh, retail chain stores are basically shit. I mean, they're really not good stuff that, you know, the... The minerals and all the great stuff that uh, they advertise in the uh, bottled water itself. And I want to talk about the pH level, which is uh, basically a scale that measures uh, the acidity or the alkalinity of your water. It, uh, the scale is from 1 to 14, with 7 being neutral, anything under 7 is acidic. So, um, you know, you, you don't want any of that acidic toxins in your body because uh, it's going to, basically it's poison and it's going to destroy you sooner or later. It's going to break down your DNA and everything else. So um, I was uh, doing a lot of research on many of the waters, the bottled waters, and um, we're going to do a little test. And basically, I don't have the, there's like a liquid that's, you know, they're like droplets, and that'll determine whether the water is acidic or, it'll, you know, determine the pH level, whether it's acidic or it's alkaline. The higher the alkaline, the better. So if it's over seven, um, then it's good. If it's under seven, like I said, it's uh, it's bad news. So what's? Um, I don't actually have the droplets that you could pour into the water, and it'll turn a different color. So we have to use this gauge here. This um, that came with uh, the kit, and it's basically like a tube. So what we'll do is we'll start with Deer Park. Everybody loves Deer Park, right? But we'll see uh, right now that Deer Park is not as, probably not as great as everyone advertises. Just take a drop, you know, we don't take too much. We have to fill this up to basically um, and then we add the uh, droplets. We had about five. I don't know if you can see the colors on the camera, but this is like an orange, and orange is acidic. And the scale right here, which indicates the color, shows that um, Deer Park is not good. Put this to the side. Bad news, man. Don't buy Deer Park water. Okay. Next, Nirvana. Well, I don't, I don't buy uh, Nirvana. It's sort of hard to find in the store. It's supposed to be um, naturally green from the Swiss Alps. We'll find out. As you can see, orange color, meaning acidic, 6.8, it's under a 7, not good, drinking acid. Nirvana, go back to the Swiss Alps where you came from, unbelievable. Smart, great value spring water at Walmart, 88 cents a gallon.
two, three. Interesting. Great value spring water comes in at a 7.8. You can see the pinkish red color. This water is good. It has a high, not a high pH, but it's drinkable and the pH level is um, you know goes past the, uh, the acidic level. So I would definitely recommend if you can get it. As a matter of fact, that's why it's flying off the shelf because I was in Walmart the other day and you can't find any of these. This is like the last one, so. Get to your Walmart, 88 cents, you're going to get pure spring water, high alkaline with minerals with uh, great value. Let's try Poland Spring. Everybody loves Poland Spring, right? I mean, that's the... It's like supposed to be the most popular bottled water uh, on the market, right? For years. Let's see. Acidic, this is like 6.8, man. I hate to say it, one of your favorite bottled waters that, I mean, like almost 80% of the U.S. population drinks this when they go when they go to the supermarket to buy bottled water. It's, uh, you know, very famous, uh, very popular, and uh, supposedly 100% uh, natural spring. No good, man. All the spring is out. Now, don't get me wrong, these bottled waters are probably as pure as you can get um, when they leave the factory, as soon as they're, um, you know, but as the problem is when they go out, when they're being shipped out and they're in transit, you don't know what gets into the bottles. Uh, these are cheap plastic bottles, all kinds of corrosive filth. Um, anything could get into it to distort the taste and corrupt the alkaline level. So that's the problem, okay? Um, you know, they start out great, but if they're lying on the shelves for a long period of time, there's going to be issues. This is 365 spring water, and you can get this at Whole Foods. Cheap brand. I mean, no, it's a it's a store brand. And uh, let's see. This is 6.8 acidic. See the orange? Bad news. Basically, you don't have to throw this out. Like, you could use this as cleaning fluid. You could clean your, uh, clean the kitchen or the uh, table or stuff like that with this kind of water. But I won't drink it. 365. This is whole, another Whole Food brand. Electrolyte water.
droplets in here. Orange acidic. Not good. And last, I mean there are other brands, I just don't have the time to. I want to spend money on them, but uh, most of them are acidic. Um, Fuji, Fiji uh, water is excellent, from what I was told. Uh, that's it runs. Fiji and Evian are pretty much a little above acidic. This is Trader Joe's Electrolyte Enhanced Water. Well, you figure, oh, electrolytes. Can't go wrong with that, huh? Well, let's find out. Same thing, orange, acidic, 6.8. Good. Now, from what I was told, this is this is good water. But you know, like like I said, uh, wherever it originated from, um, which is, and you know, wherever it got transported to, that's where the problems began. Uh, so, in transit and lying on the shelves for an extended period of time, this is what happened. This is just a sample of some of the waters um, or some of the crap that they've been selling out in. Uh, supermarkets, retail stores, etc. Your best bet is to go with that uh, smart value water I was telling you about with, uh, from Walmart. Or buy yourself a Blue Well or Well Blue pitcher. It's on Amazon.com. It goes for $39.99. It's better than that Breida shit. Breida only filters the water. It doesn't add electro, it doesn't add alkalinity, minerals, etc. The Well Blue for $40 will do all that. And uh, it comes with a filter. And um, I'm not a spokesperson or an advocate for this picture, but it's for those of you that are on a budget and you don't want to spend $1,500 on a water ionizing machine, that's probably your best bet. And for those of you that train with hot dogs and you wonder why water tastes so bad, it's because you're drinking this shit, okay, or, or freaking tap water. But this Blue Well or Well Blue pitcher will convert your tap water, which is like a 4.5, it's the worst of the worst into a nine which is high alkaline and high minerals and you'll feel better and you'll uh, I just ordered one so uh, I'm looking forward to getting it and I hope I enlightened you on some of the good and bad aspects of bottled water I hope to see you soon